He may be named after a Prince song, but he's definitely no singer. I am a son of Argus. Welcome to Next of Ken, and today we're going to explore the Mortal Kombat origins of Rain. Rain was originally a red herring in Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, who was mischievously inserted into the game's attract mode sequence to fool players into believing he was a secret, unlockable character. Players relentlessly searched for the Purple Ninja, but much to their disappointment, Rain did not exist within the game, until he officially became a playable character in the home versions of Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Rain? Kitana, my princess, you know this guy? Before the events of Mortal Kombat 1, Rain was smuggled away from his home as a small child during the invasion of Edenia. His father at the time was general of Edenia's armies, but was killed alongside his men. Chronologically speaking, Rain first appeared in the conquest mode of Mortal Kombat Deception, where he asked Shujinko to find a dagger belonging to Goro. Upon its retrieval, Rain stole the dagger for himself. It's generally assumed he kept it because his render for Mortal Kombat Armageddon reveals the same dagger now tied to his waist. Before the events of Mortal Kombat Trilogy, it was rumored that Rain was working for the Lin Kuei as a freelance assassin in Earthrealm. During one of his missions, Rain was attacked by Khan's extermination squads and offered the choice of joining him or dying. Now wanting to suffer by their hand, Rain joined the Emperor in his invasion of Earthrealm. The Earth was created in six days, so too Shall it be destroyed? Eventually, Khan's incursion failed, and Rain's whereabouts became unknown. Rain eventually returned in Mortal Kombat Armageddon, where he learned the secret of his true heritage. Quan Chi revealed to him that he's not the son of an Edenian general, but actually a direct descendant of Argus, the protector god of Edenia, and the half-brother of Taven and Diegan. Filled with anger for being casted aside as the forgotten third son, Rain endeavored to kill his half-brothers in retribution. In a brief encounter with Taven, Rain was defeated and forced to flee. Ultimately, Rain fought in the final battle at the Pyramid of Argus, but died alongside his brothers. In the 2011 reboot, Rain's story is altered slightly, and we learn that after he was orphaned as a result of Khan's conquest of Edenia, he was raised by a group of Edenian resistance fighters. Under their tutelage, he became an exceptionally powerful and an exceptionally arrogant warrior. When he was refused leadership of the resistance movement, he betrayed them and joined Shao Kahn, who offered him an army in exchange for his services. Again, Khan would be destroyed, and Rain would be denied his destiny. In Mortal Kombat X, Rain helped free the former Empress Melina from prison and joined her rebellion against Kotal Khan. He stole Shinnok's amulet to help Melina gain a powerful advantage in the fight, but after encountering Devora, Rain revealed his true intentions. He knew the power of the amulet would slowly kill Melina over time, and once her Separatist army and Kotal's forces were equally destroyed, Rain planned to fill the void left behind. Ultimately, Melina's resistance was eliminated, but Rain's efforts were for naught. Kotal survived, and Rain was defeated by Devora in combat and was not seen again, leaving his fate for the moment unclear. Will Rain ever achieve his true destiny, or will he be denied by death? We shall see. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned as we explore another character's beginnings in the next edition of Combat Origins.